Wait, you talking so fast. Wait a minute, what? You tend to Jorba's Yeah, I'm Why are you talking? I'm not going anywhere. You don't have to, you don't have to rush. Slow down. You start talking something. You might be speaking Russian. This is what you said. Would you tell them to Jim Jim Joy? Joel Bazil. Tell us more about the show. Okay, so it's YouTube, Joel Bazil. Joelbazil.com. Tell us about the show. Okay, so like you're watching Joelbazil.com. Okay, and then tell you about matchmaking. Yes. See, look, we work together on that on Sesame Street. Joelbazil.com. Oh, you can. Okay. <laughs> about a black bachelor, yummy, yummy, yummy chocolate, and 18 beautiful, vivacious women vying for his heart. He's giving Stevie bags and lands his own, and he's looking for love. He's looking for his queen, but they're also looking for their king. Is he the one? Are they the one? Okay, well, I think they have to pay homage to Prince. Purple rain. Oh, you know, I got on stage and dance for Prince. I mean, what? Yeah. What? Prince told me he loved me. I mean, I made him say that, but they didn't have my business. He told me. Thank you. How are you? I'm very good. Thank you. Um, did I learn something about dating that I didn't know before? I learned that sometimes you do have to let yourself go. somebody who had character, I wanted somebody who had integrity, I wanted somebody who had faith, who loved God, I wanted somebody who was really close, I don't want faith, yeah. I don't want faith, you know, also it is scripted, so there are some things that are controlled, but there's a lot of stuff, that, this, it's, it's a reality, it's a reality, it's a, you know, I mean, excuse me, it's not scripted, I mean, what I mean, what, what I mean by scripted is in, in that, you know, there are some situations, we put them in situations, the situations are scripted, but what happens is not. Wanted, I said, I want you to find a man that, you know, we're not going to find any scandal about him. He's an upstanding man. Because these women who are coming here, they want they want a man. I want an older woman. I want women. Upstanding women, though? You know, it, what, I, am I upstanding woman? It depends on of what time of night are. you get me. You know, uh, yes. For the most part, for the most part, Sunday I'm upstanding. Tuesday I am until somebody get on my nerves. Yes, they are upstanding women. But they all have their, they all have their little, you know, things right. that they have to deal with. But what they did want was they were open to a relationship. Okay. And I wanted women who had a profession, who had some substance. I wanted women with children because when you are a mother, you don't accept as much as somebody who don't because you got a child to protect. So these people were looking at Stevie like, well, what you doing for you know, I know what I can do for you. What you doing for me? You know, so I really I just wanted to step it up a little. I'm gonna put my name behind it. I'm gonna put my name in the camera. Okay. Hey everybody, my name is Sherry Shepherd and I'm rolling out.
The video going viral is absolutely amazing. It lets me know that the support that some people thought that we weren't going to have is there. Um, someone made it known that every week we get less than 500,000 views on the show. So for me to log into Facebook and see um, that that video has received like 1.6 million views is absolutely amazing and it lets me know that God will not ever, 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 ever forsake you. And what people don't want to expose, God will always make sure that it get, gets exposed. And I want to thank all the people that support that, all the people that understand it. You don't have to support it because you're black or whatever. Thank you for just understanding that and thanks for wanting to know more about the topic that was at hand. And uh, Dean, I want you to know that right to this day, brother, I still stand behind you and for every other, anybody, I support you and whatever it is that you do, as long as it's in a positive light, of course. Are you going to ask for a raise now? Yeah. I want a raise in TV. Y'all know I've been tweeting at y'all all week. I need a raise or I need to get on another show. And if y'all don't get me on there, I'm going to Bravo or VH1. <laughs> and say your name and say I'm rolling out. And I'm CJ from the real world on MTV. And of course, I'm hanging with the one and only, rolling out. I think you would have definitely done it. Probably at 30. At 30? Mm -hmm. He's 33, so that's about right. Yeah, that's pretty good. I mean, do good. men really know what they I mean, want at 33? He has money, you know, he's not looking for money, but you know, at the same time, the mom is like, yo, listen, whoever it is, she got to understand, you know, the business. Right, Seems but do you like think his mom should fall women. back though? Most of them are business women. I mean, Sherry Shepard had a point. This is Atlanta, it's a lot of women here. He's mm -hmm. a single guy. So I think, do you think the fault that he's still single may have a little bit to do with his mom? Um, I think his mom's kind of micromanaging his life, you know what I'm saying? I think he didn't really want to get down out there on his mom like that, but I think he kind of want to just kind of do his own thing, but I don't know why they forced his mom on the show, but I think oh, you know, she probably she's looking forced herself for his best interest, but you know, I think he's a little bit too old for that, if you ask me. So she should fall back? I think she should. Like, not on the show? <laughs> no, I don't think she should not like be on the, the show. Like, in the parking lot? I just think she shouldn't be so aggressive about his choices, you know right. what I'm saying? But, but still understand like that how keeping the house clean and all that stuff. I understand that mom thing that that's cool But as far as her being opinionated about oh, you who would thought and stuff and like you that. Ain't good. Yeah, I don't think that's cool. Cause he might like that whole um, Freak in the bed. We don't know what he like right now. Cause we, he's telling everybody the same thing right now It's oh. only the first episode. I haven't seen the rest of it. So I can't really say so hopefully it gets better Tell yeah. tell Stevie back some piece of advice Stevie, man, all I can tell you is, man, man, do what you want. Do what's in your heart, you know what I'm saying? I know you got your mom and she's opinionated, but do what Stevie wants to do because at the end of the day, Stevie's got to be happy. Say your name and say, and I'm rolling out. This is G. Fields, and I'm rolling out. All right, cool. I know I'm going to put that in.